Pixel Art Academy is an adventure game where you become an art student at the Retropolis Academy of Art. Now, Retropolis is the science fiction city where creators go live. It's built by scientists, engineers, and artists who just want to do what they want to do, which is learn and create stuff. And because you are also like that, you want to get accepted and become an art student there. And here's the catch. In the game, whatever your character is doing, learning how to draw and doing art assignments, you're actually doing them yourself. So while playing Pixar Academy, you learn how to do art for yourself in real life. Welcome to Pixel Art Academy 101, my new YouTube show where I'm gonna tell you all about my video game. I'm your host, Matej Jan, uh, also known as Retro on the internet, or people just call me Retronator as well, because that's the name of my blog and game dev studio and this YouTube channel. Now, you might have noticed that I haven't been putting new videos out in this last four months, in 2018. And this is because I have been really focusing on developing Pixel Art Academy. Like if you didn't know, I have been working on this game for the last three years. And since I'm the only developer for the most part, I do all the code and all the art. I really have to shift my priorities around a bit to make sure that this game gets made. Now the news show and other my projects such as Retronator Daily Newspaper or the learning video tutorials, drawing tutorials that I was doing, those are all part of this world of Pixel Art Academy. So they will definitely come back but for now, I really need to focus on getting more features of the game instead of more content. So Pixel Art Academy is in early access right now and a lot of work has gone into it in all these three years. In the first half of a year, this was in back in 2015, I was just fleshing out idea and preparing everything for a Kickstarter campaign. And then in the next year following that, I was getting a master's degree in education because I really wanted to have a very strong foundation in learning theories. After I graduated, I was able to start working on the game full time. And so then I built all the kind of infrastructure and made episode zero, which is also known as before it all began and it has three chapters the first two are free which you can go and play in your browser because it's an online game you go to pixelart.academy the first chapter just kind of teaches you how this whole text adventure interface works like i said it's an early access game so right now there are no illustrations of the locations the graphics will come and i also made this prototype that kind of shows how approximately it's going to look like so it's going to be a point and click adventure Eventually, but for now I only do the art that I need to which is for interfaces So after you get a glimpse into the game world you go to chapter 2 which happens in Retronator headquarters And there is also Burra, Sarah Burra, who's also helping me on this game You can talk to her in the cafe to register your account, kind of save your game and There's gonna be more to do at Retronator headquarters There's gonna be featured artists in the cafe Upstairs on top there's a gallery where it's gonna host my artworks but right now the only thing that's really functional there is the Retronator store so one floor above the cafe you're gonna find me actually in this shirt kind of like this and you can look at the shelves around you and get Pixel Art Academy the game and then you talk to me in the game and then you can buy the game and I'm gonna give you a receipt then you can like even give me a tip if you want you can also support a game on Patreon by becoming a patron. If you do it at at least $3 level, you're automatically gonna have the basic game added to your game account. So yeah, to finish chapter two, once you get the game, you go downstairs into the basement. That's where you're going to find Lands of Illusions. Now, Lands of Illusions is what I call an alternate reality center. It's where the gaming system that Pixel Art Academy is part of runs. And it's alternate reality is kind of like the next thing after VR and augmented reality. 
see. And the way it works is in Lens of Illusion Center, they're gonna give you a sync device, which is kind of like a wristwatch. And then you eat a pill of neurotransmitters that you can find all of this in the game. I'm not even gonna, so just, uh, it's a little bit sci-fi, which then enables you to sync up with other game characters, which is exactly what you're doing in chapter three, the final chapter of episode zero. You go to Cyborg Construction Center in the south of San Francisco. If I didn't tell you, the start of this game takes place in San Francisco. And now, if you have the basic game, you can choose from pre-existing characters. And then if you bought the full game at $20, then you can go and design your own character, how they look, uh, what kind of personality they have. So this is the part that's most like role-playing games, just instead of setting attributes like strength and agility, you are actually setting personality traits and then telling what kind of activities the person is doing and what kind of people there are in their lives, because that kind of changes what kind of support network you have, or maybe there are even people that make it harder for you to learn. Do you have two jobs? Do you have a lot of free time or no? These are all the things that are going to kind of influence your learning path because the goal is to help you with your own situation. Now, right now, as I said, this is early access and all of this is there just to set the foundation for the future because none of this is coded in, but you just kind of get the idea where this is all going. The graphics are also very temporary just so that you can see something because I needed to have some characters on the screen. Just take that in mind, it's very experimental. And that's it for chapter three. Now that you've created your character and you sync with them with your sync little watch, this is where the game really begins. And this is then the start of episode one, chapter one, which I've just released to alpha players. And yes, yeah, so what is in chapter one? Well, that's gonna have to wait for the next episode. That's it for today. And I will see you in the next episode of Pixel Art Academy 101. Bye-bye.